This mind map video is about project integration management. There are 10 key concepts in integration management and the first one is project authorization. Project is authorized by signing the project charter by the project sponsor, client or customer. Project charter reflects the organization commitment to spend the money on the project. Project charter describes the business need and cost benefit analysis in the business case. Project Charter Document Who is the Project Manager, His Role and His Authority Second key concept is Project Planning. A project plan describes how a project will be planned, executed, monitored and controlled. Project Manager should prepare an integrated project. Project Management Plan by preparing subsidiary plans for each knowledge area. An example of subsidiary plan is Scope Management Plan or Cost Management Plan. Baselines are developed as part of project plan. There are typically three baselines on the project that is scope, time and cost. A baseline is an approved version of project scope or time and or cost. The three baselines are known as performance measurement baselines in earned value management systems. Another important planning aspect is development of project documents to manage the project. Examples of project documents are risk register, stakeholder register, issue log, change log, etc. Next key concept is deliverables. A deliverable is defined as any unique and verifiable product, result, or capability to perform a service that is required to be produced to complete a process, phase, or project. Project deliverables are project management plans and project documents while example of product deliverable is design of building, prototype, assembly of engine etc. All product deliverables typically goes through an internal inspection or quality control before passing to customer for final acceptance. Change management is the next key concept. Change management guides us how to manage changes on the project. Changes can be requested by anyone who is authorized. These change requests are of three types. First type is the change request for corrective actions to solve or fix a problem. Second type of change request is for preventive actions to avoid any issue in future project activities and the third type of change request is to repair the defect in the deliverable. Change requests can be raised through project life cycle and may update project plan and project documents. Next key concept is configuration management. Configuration management activities provides better control over change requests that may affect project or product deliverables. Configuration identification involves identifying the deliverable specification that requires change control. Configuration status accounting helps to record status of configuration items by recording list of proposed changes to configuration and monitoring their implementation status. Configuration verification and configuration audits ensure the composition of a project's configuration items is correct and that corresponding changes are registered, assessed, approved, tracked, and correctly implemented. Now, let's look at concept of progress reporting. Reporting the completion status of deliverables, actual time and cost spent on the project and forecasting information constitute project progress reporting. Project performance measurement is the next key concept. We measure project performance by comparing actual results against the baselines. Earn Value Management System is an integrated performance measurement technique to measure scope, schedule and cost performance on the project. Cost and schedule variance as well as variance at completion should also be analyzed to know if corrective or preventive actions are needed. Next comes the Project Management Information System. It is a system to store and disseminate project-related information. It is used to support all aspects of the project from initiating through closing, and can include both manual and automated systems. Scheduling tool is considered as part of project management information system. Last key concept is to verify the accomplishment of project objectives that is achieved by evaluating if all deliverables have met the deliverable acceptance criteria and project success criteria as defined in the project governance or in project plan. Customer acceptance of the deliverable of the project marks the successful completion of the project or phase. This brings us to the end of this mind map video. Thank you for watching.